Warren, also, next week, big fight, May 2nd, Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. Who you having to fight? I just hope it's a good fight. You know, this fight should have happened four or five years ago, and, and everybody's been waiting on it, and it's really been built up. But, you know, both of these guys are definitely not in their prime anymore. Uh, this 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 fight has been hyped as big as any fight that I've ever been around, and, and I just hope it lives up to that billing. Uh, I think uh, Floyd Mayweather is the better fighter only because he's such a great defensive fighter. Um, but you never know what the amount of punches that Pacquiao throws. If he ever catches him with one, we'll just have to wait and see if he's able to handle it. But I just, like I said, hope it's a, a good fight and both of these guys go out and put on a really good show. Well, once again, I'm hoping the same, and I, I know you're a very busy person, and I appreciate you giving us some of your time here on Secondary Perspective. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Warren Moon, Hall of Fame quarterback, Houston Oilers. You can follow him once again on Twitter, WMoon1 and at sports one Marketing, MKTG. Thank you, Warren, for joining the program. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me on. Anytime you want me, you know, you know where to find me. Uh, I'm always available, and I love what you're doing. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Hated mom and shot player, hated mom and pop, blue legged it. Felt like it rained to the roof, cake. Two words, shot town, raise me crazy. So I live by two words. Live by two words. Scoop Jackson, welcome to the program. Thank you for joining us. What's up, man? What's going on? I thought you were going to play all day or something like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, you know, Kanye West said it best. Shot town raised me. I live by two words. You know what? Pay me. So I had to yeah, bring you true. in that way. Or, or, or as he said, I'm too shy. I'm so shy, I'm bashful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Before you, before you joined us, we were talking about uh, Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao and uh, Floyd Mayweather, the fight that's supposed to take place on May 2nd. To me, I think the fight is long overdue. For you, when you break down this fight, how do you see it playing out? Um, one, I think it's long overdue, too, and I'm, I'm surprised that it's gotten the attention that it's gotten because I didn't think, um, you know, the, the interest, the public interest would still be there this late in the game. I thought the window was closed on this being such a big fight. So, especially after Manny took a few losses, you know, uh, I thought the interest in, public interest in the fight would die down. But, um you know, I, I, so I'm glad to see it because I wanted to see this fight happen, even though they're not fighting at the peak. Um, that being said, you know, uh, I, it's, it's hard to say, you know, um, because of, you know, how boxing is about matchups, the same way basketball becomes about matchups when you get into the playoffs. And, you know, these are two different fighters that are matching up against each other. And I don't think historically you can go back and say, all right, well, we've seen this fight before. You know, you know, we've seen fighters, you know, quite like this before because they, they're two unique fighters. So there's nothing really historically to pull on. You know, you can't say this is Sugar Ray and, and you know, and, and Hearns or Hagler or, you know, anybody in the middleweight division, Howard Davis, Alexa Carguero. You know, you can't, you can't find this fight to peg what's going to happen. So it's hard to pull from. And usually in boxing, you can pull from something. You can say, mm -hmm. all right. I can see how this fight may play out because these two fighters, you know, these two types of fighters have fought this fight before, and this is how it ended up. I can't, you know, historically look back and say that I've seen, you know, a fight where you have the characteristics of both fighters like this getting into the ring, you know, um, at this point in time in their career and saying, okay, here's the precursor to how this fight may come out. So it's too hard to prove. So with that being said, I say so you ask how I, fight, how I see the fight playing out. I, the, the, the tangible I use in that is simply, you know, who, who has the most to lose in this fight will be the one that comes out the victor. You so know, with and, that being, and with that being said, I really think Floyd has much more to lose in this fight. You know, Manny has nothing to lose, and sometimes that's a dangerous thing. But Floyd, if you look throughout his career, you know, he people can question whether he's been the greatest of his era or one of the greatest ever. The one thing we can say that for the most part in the ring, he has been the smartest fighter. And with him having the most to lose by risking having that one L, you know, on his category, that – He's going to do whatever he can to protect that, not to the point where he's going to make himself vulnerable, but to the point that, you know, I'm, I, I got too much to lose to lose this fight, you know, and without having anything else, you know, to draw on, you know, to say, okay, I've seen this fight before, we've seen this fight before, 
that's the tangible I'm leaning on as to how I see the outcome of the fight playing itself out. Well, you know what? I think personally, and I think everyone would agree that this fight is long overdue, and with neither boxer being in their prime, for me, it really doesn't make a difference who wins the fight. Because I'm going to say, well, if, if, if Floyd wins the fight, or Pacquiao wins the fight, I don't really care. This should fight should have taken place two, five but, years but you ago when you guys have been in your pride. But you know what? You can say that about anything. I mean, you know, the, the, you know, but, you know, you can say that about anything. But I think we're, if we're talking about the fight itself, I'm speaking on the point of the fighters, not me. I'm not making money off the fight. You know, it's not good. Whatever happens in the ring is not going to change my life. So I can all, we can all take that attitude. <laughs> but for the people to get to the ring. How can you say that, that Scoop? Of course it's going to change your life. Who, you It'll make your life better if Mayweather them. loses. It'll make everyone's life better. Why? Because of his attitude? Because he needs to be humble? <laughs> But let, let me ask you this. If Pacquiao doesn't beat Mayweather, is he ever going to lose another fight after this? Because I feel like this is going to threaten his uh, undefeated streak more than anything oh, in his upcoming is. future. And, and he played it perfectly. This is why we've waited five years, because Mayweather knew that Pacquiao was the biggest threat. So why not wait until Pacquiao is no longer in his prime and not as much of a threat to beat him? See, I, I, I hear you. I agree with you, but I look at it differently. It's the fact that and, and people tend to use the word fear and Skip Bayless to say he's been running from him. I think Floyd knows that Pacquiao, even over the last five years, is the only fighter that can get in the ring and have everything possible to beat him. You know, so instead of – I think he played it smart. And with all the questions running around whether Pacquiao was taking or not taking, you know, extra enhancements, you know, and with him refusing to come on the level, I think Floyd was like, look, I'm getting anybody else I'm not going to do this to. I'm not going to make the Olympic testing required to get in the ring with anybody else because nobody else can mess with me. But this dude, oh, no, this dude can get me. So I got to make sure we're going to up and up now. So you say he waited until he's out of much prime. My thing in looking at the facts is that Floyd kept asking for him to get tested and everybody be tested. And Pacquiao kept, kept refusing that. Now, we're not saying the rumors are true or not, but we're saying it's out there. So for him refusing to do that, you know, I don't know if that's necessarily waiting until his prime comes out. That's asking a legitimate question with somebody you know has a chance of beating you. Yeah, but Floyd, Ma Floyd, Floyd Mayweather is like, somebody, he's, he's huh? like a, a gen an evil genius. I, I feel like he played this perfectly. And maybe, you know, I'm, I'm going out on a limb here because I, I agree with what you're saying and I get it. And you're absolutely right. Pacquiao did have more control over the situation. But you got to love the way that Floyd Mayweather played it, man. You know, people can say whatever they want about him, but this is the smartest way that he could have gone about it. So last question, real quick, Scoop. Who wins the fight? Who you got? Well, I got, I got Floyd winning. I got Floyd winning, and it goes back to what I was saying, the eye test. It's based on this. I have seen Floyd not win fights. You get what I'm saying? He's still undefeated, but I have seen him not win fights. I right. have not seen him lose. I've seen Pacquiao lose. I've seen Pacquiao lose to fighters that were lesser than Floyd Mayweather. Right. So if we're mathematically breaking it down from an eye test situation, I got – Floyd all day. And plus, like I say, it goes to what you were saying. I think he's, and this is no disrespect to Pacquiao, I just think he's smarter. You know, even to the way what he does outside the ring. I think his efficiency, you know, his, his being like a surgeon in the ring, I don't necessarily see he will, I won't necessarily say he'll, he'll win the fight, but I just don't see him losing. And that's going to wind up being a victory on his side. He doesn't have to beat Pacquiao. All he has to do is not lose. And we've seen Floyd not lose fights. And he's still undefeated. That's his thing. You know, as, as fans, we tend to look at, okay, we got to knock somebody out. You have to technically, I mean, you know, basically beat somebody down. It's, you know, still in boxing, it's a point system, you know, to a certain degree. And those points or those points come from judges. Right. And if Floyd does what he does best, especially if the fight goes long, if he just defensively makes it impossible for Manny to hurt him, then he can technically just win the fight. You know what I'm saying? He just said he get handed the fight. And at the end of the day, he's like, look, it's not pretty. Y'all may not like it, but guess what? I win is a win. A and that goes back to what I think. He has more to lose. And I think that's what's going to carry him through. <laughs>